Welcome to the video for How Do I Make a Game. This is just going to be a very simple tutorial walking through the basic process of how do you make a game. There's been a lot of questions like where do I start? What do I do? I have no idea what to do. Well, this is going to skip over the finer details but show you in a nutshell at a higher level how to make a game. This is an example of our user interface and the goal will be you simply click the button as fast as you can within our time limit and it will keep track of the score. If we hit play right now with nothing hooked up you'll see we have a button that clicks and nothing happens. So let's take a look at our code. Basically everything is going to revolve around our clicking event which is right here. I have a few variables set up such as are we allowed to play the game right now? Has the game actually started? Is the timer running? And these are just to keep track of the state of our game. So let's hook up our click to our first few events. If we can play the game, and if the game has started, we go up here. If not, we go down here. Well, we've done nothing so far, so let's start the game. Hooking up start the game, we find now our timer resets to our default value of 10 seconds. But nothing happens when we click. Well, that's because we're not actually doing anything with our timer. Here's our event tick. Every frame, this will tick, give us our time, and we'll check certain variables. So, let's hook up our event tick to our first branch. Is the game started? If so, let's store our delta time for this tick just to make it easier later. We'll move on to the next thing, and we'll check, is the timer actually running? Have we started it? If so, let's decrease the amount of time we have left. Let's hit play and see what happens now. Look, now when we click, our timer starts and it goes down. You'll notice there's no actual score increasing. And you'll also notice that you can continue to click when you hit zero seconds. So let's work on that. Next thing we might want to do is what happens when we click and can our score go up? So down here, if we click, the game started and we can play, and the timer's running, let's go ahead and add to our number of clicks. We hit play again, you'll notice our clicks are going up. That's good, but you will notice that we will run into a problem where you can continue to click and the score will continue to go up. Let's fix that. Well, up here, we should probably check for the game over every time the time is decremented because if we get to zero seconds it will be game over so let's check that out now go ahead and click and we'll find when we get down to our zero second we will check for game over and timer stays at zero and we can no longer click and the time score no longer goes up we're good to go it's a little bland though how about we play a sound effect every time we click. So, after we click, we'll play a sound effect. And there we go. A little thudding sound every time we click gives it a little bit more panache. So, now at this point in time, we have our game over, but we don't actually do anything. You'll notice it stays in a stuck state. So, as part of our game over, if it's a game over, we pass that boolean variable out, and we check. If it's a game over, how about we add a high score? Save the high score for later. We'll notice we can go, we can play. When we get down to zero, it'll now check about high score. And we have a new high score of 49. But you'll notice we still can't do anything. Well, we're still in a game over state. We have not reset back to default. So let's hook that up. Let's go in here. Let's put a little delay. We're going to do a delay of 3 seconds after the game has been determined over, after we've updated the score, just to give them a little bit of break to look at the UI, prevent them from immediately restarting the game. After our delay, we simply reset the game back to start. And then we set our variable of can we play again back to yes. Let's see what happens this time. We'll hit play, and we'll click to start. We click. We game for that massive high score. Let's see if we can beat 50 this time. 
And we have. And we now have a high score of 59. Alright. You know, after three seconds, our score resets. It says our high score. Our timer is still zero because we haven't started yet. And we can start again. So, let's go again. Let's see if we can beat that high score. What was that? Oh, that's right. Since it's your game, you can do anything you want with it, including Easter eggs. And that's it. As you can see, we actually just made a complete game. It has a start, it has gameplay, and it has an end. For your first game, there's nothing wrong with it. Taught you the basics, you move on, and you improve with the next thing. And then you improve with the next thing. Somewhere around game 50 or 500, you might actually get something that you're proud of and other people enjoy as well. Who knows? It may take you a couple thousand games, it may take you ten. You will find that most people who become successful creating games start simple and continue making over and over and over. Find something you enjoy and continue on with it. That is the key. If you don't start somewhere, you're never going to finish, you're never going to improve. Start simple like this example, and just keep doing.